everything can be taken from a man but one thing. The last of the human freedoms is to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. In today's audio, Mel Robbins talks with us about how your brain works and how to switch from auto to direct mode so that you're able to make better decisions. Enjoy. You've got two modes in the way in which your brain operates. The default mode and the direct mode. Default, I call autopilot. That's like when your thoughts drift, it's when you're on autopilot, it's when you go through your day without even thinking. The direct mode is the mode where you're present, where you're in the moment, where you're controlling what you think about, okay? And I'm gonna teach you to catch yourself when you're on autopilot or default, and to take control of what you're thinking about and switch into the direct mode when you need to. And the reason why this is important has to do with A question that we get all the time. What can I do to teach myself to stop thinking worst case scenarios when it comes to making changes in my life? How many of you can relate to that? You know you want to make changes, you've got a lot you want to do in your life, but then you start thinking about those changes and you immediately start catastrophizing. You start worrying, you start thinking about all the reasons why it's not going to happen. This is so common and the reason why it's common is because somebody in your past either trained you to think this way or you've had so many bad things happen that you've trained yourself to assume and predict that bad things are always gonna happen to you. And that is a terrible, terrible way to live your life. And I know a lot of you do. And so we wanna change that. And the reason why it's a terrible way to live your life is because there will be bad things that happen. There will. It's a fact of life. But if you are constantly allowing your mind to default to thinking that bad things will happen or thinking that you're out of shape or thinking that you're a loser or thinking that you're not worthy or thinking that things aren't going to turn out it becomes your default mode of thinking the default mode network is a series of neurons in your brain that has automated certain things okay and The reason why we have a default mode network is because we need it. When you learn how to do things on default, you can do them without thinking. Very important for you so that you're not taxing your brain all day. When you learn to write with your right hand or your left hand, it becomes part of the default mode network. The problem is thinking patterns become part of your default mode network. So if you're someone who wakes up and you have all these dreams and aspirations, but your default mode is to think about the worst case scenario. Your default mode is to say, I'm an imposter, I'm a loser, I'm not likable, nobody likes me, I'm not lovable. It has become part of your default mode network. And it's super important for you to realize that just like I could go from being a right-hander and teach myself how to be a left-hander. It is the exact same process for you to go for somebody who defaults to thinking negative garbage to becoming somebody who thinks directly. It is going to be a process, not an event. This is the work of changing the patterns in your mind. There's no other way to do it. Now, a couple things I want you to do today. I want you to realize that you are in default mode at 46.9% of the time. That's half of the day you're in autopilot mode. That's fine when autopilot are just kind of the things like writing or driving a car or drinking a cup of coffee or pulling on your pants. It's not a good thing when the default mode is I suck, life isn't going to turn out, nobody loves me, I can't do anything right, I'm not worthy. Autopilot's great when it's helpful, it's horrendous for you when it is working against you. Visualization is training you to go from default to direct. That's why it works. Visualization is a form of going from the default mode where you think negative to a direct mode where you're in the right now and you're directing your thoughts and you're in control of what you're thinking. 
project yourself into a future state where your self-worth is awesome. What are the things that you do when you live in that state? And that visualization and jumping into the future should give you a clue as to what changes you need to make right now. So today I want to take it a step further. Today, all I want you to do is I want you as you go out throughout your day, I want you to notice when your thoughts drift. As you go through your day and things are happening, I want you to notice, am I present or am I drifting and saying something that's really nasty to myself? And if you do catch yourself saying something nasty to yourself, here's what I want you to do. I want you to start to write down what is your version of nasty? What is the default mode that got programmed into your brain a long time ago? Maybe it was your mother who said terrible things to you. Maybe it was your father who was abusive. Maybe you were in a relationship uh, that destroyed you. Maybe you had an emotionally abusive boss. Maybe you got a divorce and you feel like you're unlovable. Whatever it is, there's a default mode that you have that we got to get rid of, seriously. And the way that we're going to get rid of it is we got to unearth it. So today, I want you to pay attention. This is going to be a very confronting exercise for a lot of you. Because when you shine the spotlight on things that are underneath the surface, you can start to feel heavy. It's normal. Please keep in mind, this is about half of the entire presentation. If you're up for a treat, you should definitely listen to the whole thing. You can do so by clicking the link labeled View the Full Video on YouTube in the show notes. So that does it for this episode of 7-Bit Minutes. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.